Hello and welcome back to Proactive New York. I'm Christine Corrado. With me right now is Nader Porhassan, CEO at Cytodyne. Nader, great to see you. How are you? Doing great. It's great to be here. Nader, uh, news today is that the company announced it expected to complete enrollment for its phase two trials of Lerone Lamab as a potential coronavirus treatment by the end of May. Can you kind of talk about how this would potentially influence your timeline to actually get the drug available for patients? So yes, absolutely. Uh, we have about 35 or so enrolled. The sites are now really uh, getting involved because they're getting enrolled and the SIV uh, site initial visitation is getting completed. So hopefully if we can finish the enrollment, maybe in a couple of weeks, we might have data read out by the end of the month. If not, let's just say worst case scenario, the enrollment gets finished by the end of the month. That's our efficacy. So there, you need two things to get approval, safety, efficacy. Safety, we have over 850 patients with zero drug-related serious adverse event. So we hope that uh, next month would be a very, very important month for us. But as a, at the same time, we're filing for compassionate use with the FDA and uh, the patient's emergency IND application will just keep coming in. And uh, it's very difficult for the company to go through all that process, but we're willing to do that. Well, yeah, you mentioned that you have applied for this expanded access program from the FDA, also known as compassionate use. How many more patients would you be able to treat if you were approved? So at this time, we have still close to 40,000 vials. So we, that would take care of about 20,000 doses. So we are getting the 1.2 million vials of uh, this product by uh, this year from Samsung. And uh, that's the reason we are a little bit under pressure to make sure we perform financially and make sure that the company doesn't delay that timeline. That's a very sensitive timeline. Our manufacturing in the past, we saw if we delay something, it could wait you know, one year or so before it can get back on track. Separate to coronavirus treatment updates, we're also hearing that a patient from England is actually kind of defying uh, quarantine orders and is flying to the U.S. to actually be treated with Laronimab as a triple negative breast cancer patient. What can you tell me about that? So this patient's husband uh, got hold of us and wanted to immediately get the, you know, the hold of Laronimab. Uh, they believe this is the only uh, alternative they have now for uh, for the for the treatment. All the other treatment has failed her. Uh, she went through the government in in England and they got her cleared to come here. United States government cleared her, and we offered to pay for their ways to come down here and treat them, as we have done in the past with other patients when they ask that they can't afford their uh, travel expenses. But these patients, we hope it works. Our, our cancer data has been amazing. I see my mother-in-law right in front of my face every day. I don't know how much more time she has, but uh, her time has been extended definitely in our opinion with our drug. And I hope we can do that for this lady also. How did she find out about Laurel the Mob? Uh, I guess the publicity in England is getting, you know, the, pretty much is the steam. And we have people from England who came down here uh, to the United States and got treatment in the past. They can't travel anymore and we continuously send them product. But you have to be on a trial and get the first dose in the United States. Dr. Jayla Lazari, who has been in this program before, uh, is going to be injecting her hopefully soon. Separate to this, there are kind of rumors swirling around from investors in the company that you've sold, sold some shares. Is this true? Yes, uh, I exercised my options. And the reason we did that, I had told people that our manufacturing is very crucial not to get delayed. Dr. J. Lalezor in open uh, domain said constantly that uh, if our manufacturing gets delayed, we won't have enough product to help all the people that might need our product for coronavirus. And uh, as you we heard in Gilead, even they have problem to get product this year. They have the, most of the product will be available next year. There are other vaccines that their manufacturing gonna be ready by next year, mid next year. So the manufacturing takes a lot of time. We had a big payment due and we had a decision to make. Uh, do we sell 10 million shares and let that hit the market hard? Or do we just exercise our shares? Uh, I exercised my share and I asked Dr. Uh, Scott Kelly to exercise some shares and he agreed to do that to give the company enough funds to be able to be okay for another five to six weeks. 
uh, it uh, took a tremendous beating on me because when when I did that, uh, you have to pay hefty taxes and all the shares that I had is not that much during 11 years even. So I tried to sacrifice for the company anytime I can. And I did that. Unfortunately, everybody in the public domain is looking at it as a whole different thing. Uh, coronavirus, I, I'm on the call every day with patients. On Saturday, I got up in the morning and I got a call from a, a doctor who was almost crying, saying my patient needs Liron Limap. So I got the other doctors on the call and take care of it. As I said in the press release, right after that, we had a call from South, South California for getting Liron Limap for a patient who was on ventilation and was really in desperate. So we're working very hard and we're very passionate about it. And we just let the chips fall where they may. Uh, 11 years of what we have done in the company, it speaks for itself. Thanks for explaining that and good to catch up, Nader. Hope to speak with you soon. Thanks again. Thank you for having me.